here today at the legislature delivering 24,329 postcards signed by British Columbians. This is a nonpartisan issue. Healthcare is an important issue for all British Columbians. It's good to be here in Victoria to deliver the message that violence is not part of the job. The nurses of BC have been waiting a very long time um, to see any improvements in their safety in the workplace. This has been an ongoing struggle for nurses and we need to be protected as well. How are we going to protect our patients and take care of them when we can't take care of ourselves? My message is we need to keep our nurses and our other healthcare workers safe. We're so happy that the day just finally come. The postcards have continued to come in. Nobody wants to see nurses hurt at work. Violence in British Columbia in our healthcare system has reached shocking levels. Twenty-six nurses a month. That's nearly one a day. That's a lot of nurses. Nurses and healthcare workers are regularly subjected to verbal assaults, racial slurs. They are punched, they are hit, and they are threatened. We're working with people when they're vulnerable and when there's emotions are high, and it just really heightens the risk of being exposed to violence. What we need now is for you and your government to exercise the political will to protect nurses and all healthcare workers. I am honored to present 24,329 signed postcards to the government. Even though we've signed agreements, even though there are frameworks in place and we can talk about those at length, we're not doing well enough. Let's keep working together to make every healthcare facility a safer place. The time for action is now. And it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of hard work to gather these postcards. I also would like to thank the public for their support of nurses and that we go hand in hand with the public. The population of BC really wants to take care of its nurses and wants to ensure that the nurses are safe.